The senator also visited the Darkwoods Penitentiary, which hosts more than a thousand inmates from all over the country. The prison's modern facilities include spacious cells for the inmates. The exceptionally well-staffed hospital is equipped for emergencies, as well as routine health checks. Adjacent to row one, the electric chair room is where death sentences are carried out. have taken over the asylum, Cash. The only way to reason with these gibbering idiots is with a stick and a gun. I want you to kill the hunter patrolling the tower walkway and bring his body to the guardroom. Big surprise! That's what they said. Big surprise! Everything's going okay. There's a hunter in the next room through the mesh door. Hack him up and I'll buzz open the next set of doors for you. Welcome back to Let's Play Manhunt. We've got a new gang, and while they appear to be unfit to stand trial, we're still going to have to execute them. We're in luck, as a execution weapon seems to be stashed in the corner here. So let's get right along with our grim duty. Who that? Fuck not playing this game. What the hell? Get back here. Okay, that's a dead end for some reason. Let's see what else we got around here. Ooh, an incarcerated friend. They mentioned the execution room with the electric chair. This does not appear to be that. This looks more like electroshock therapy. We can't bust them out. But we can make a situation worse. And that got our captor's attention. Now he's curious about who burned his friend, so let's introduce ourselves. Doing as we're told. Now we can undo Fug's good deed, but would we? I think so. No! 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 There are some more of these paranoid crazies guarding the door to the greenhouses. They see you, and I guarantee they'll lock that door. When they feel safe, they'll probably unlock the door again. I like their routine. Seems like stealth is going to be of particular import around here. Luckily, we've got this huge shadowy corner that we can take advantage of. Another night without my shoes. I don't know why they have to take them away. Our new cleaver gets its first taste of bone. But unfortunately, it's a palette swap of the machete. Nonetheless, it's been a while since we've seen that, so... Nice to reintroduce ourselves. Now we want to hide those bodies, because smileys freak out when they see bodies. Bring that guy over to our corner, and we've left no evidence of a crime. Of 
<laughs> Since he's only moderately freaked out, we should be able to make easy pickings of him. I'm taking the kids to mobs, and this time I'm not coming back, I swear! <laughs> Now, since there only appears to be one guy left, maybe we will show him a body. Come and see what fog has found! Go for it, my boy. Go for it. That's exactly what he wants to see. Expedient kills stacked up quickly. Oh, there's one more guy. Wasn't quite prepared for that, and he looks like he's going straight for the door. We need to get through. Tap it on his tower got his attention. But he's not coming down. He has a clue where we're at, though. No! <laughs> but yeah, he's not leaving his guaranteed safety. Even as it becomes less guaranteed. Looks like he had a gun. We could scoop it up now, but uh, I'm a little gunned out at the moment after the last scene. And on to the greenhouses. Already got at least one guy here. Ooh, and that way is. Got quite a few more. Maybe I'll stick with the one. Sometimes I wonder why I invite all these ungrateful idiots at all. <laughs> Seems to be reliving a rather unpleasant experience. Let's maybe put him out of his misery. Yeah, let's pretend that was a good deed. Throughout this area, we can more or less jump from target to target. Mr. Honor seems to be making himself scarce tonight. This is actually very reminiscent of the first time we really went up against the war dogs. And the results will be similar if we make a mistake. The greenhouse offers much better visual coverage, but... Oh, okay, he merely found a body. I was worried he had spotted me. Since everyone here is carrying a gun, if you want to do stealthy executions around here, you better not screw up. So this guy's isolated, at least. Maybe we could... Take him out while everyone else is worried about the body. Come make it ready or not. Okay. He's stuck to the door. And we showed yet another person a body. Didn't even know he was here. So this area is gonna be rather chaotic for the near future. We do have another large shadowy corner at least. Which is good, the entire open area of the greenhouse is very sporadically shadow covered. 
It's hard to find Shadow, you more so rely on visual cover. <gasps> Seems like this eloquent motherfucker's our next victim. There you go. Just want to make sure he's in shadow. Dealt with enough bodies being found already. someone close by. Rather convenient. Why my shoes? Plenty of other shoes out there. Why mine? That's unfortunate. I grazed the uh, barrel and that tipped him off. Maybe we can make lemonade out of this though. The way these guys get so upset and intent on finding you after they spotted you can actually be turned to your favor as they wander around looking for you when you're no longer there. As soon as you make your way behind them, you can execute rather easily. And if my count is correct, this is the only remaining smile in the area, besides the one guarding the door. Where is the- uh, That was a rather welcome return to the stealth gameplay, but it's over. Only way through here is with a gunshot. Come on! Stop hiding and give me gore! I guess he was already back to being gun hungry. Oh. Okay, that's not really fair. Some of these nut jobs have bricked themselves into the tower. You'll have to find a way to blast your way in. And that's what the conspicuous glowing green gas can in the last area is for. And as you can imagine, this part is a thrill a minute. Really, there's no way to speed this up. And you basically have to kill everybody if you want any chance of making it all the way there. So there's no way to make this any fun, really. Perhaps if we left someone alive, they'd be, uh giving the area some tension, but there's no way to know that you need to do this until you've killed absolutely every single smiley in the area. That's the only way to get that cutscene to activate. Bit of an explosive payoff, at least. We've alerted the contents of the tower. And I stepped out of shadow, which was a big mistake. He's a pretty bad shot, though. I like your brand of care in the community. I really do. That seems to have been all we need to worry about in here. Still ought to be careful, though. What goes on inside a man's head? We will have to fucking see. I feel like we have seen. I don't care if those ungrateful bastards hate the bush. They can damn well dump it. I should have ordered a cooler. Finally at the top of the tower. 
guess we didn't need to be quite as careful. My guest of honor seems to be making himself scarce tonight. Oh, how I'd love to get on the other side of that door right now. It'll have to wait. Everything's going okay, thank God. Even the caterers seem to have their heads screwed on. It's a lot of dialogue from the Smileys, which I like. The Innocents actually had the most recorded dialogue of any gang in the entire game. However, since most of their interaction was gunfire from across the room, I've never heard most of it. So, beyond this door, it's quite a populated area. Let's see if we can get maybe one or two out here into the shadows. That's an odd reaction. And he's still not coming out. I think I see how this is supposed to go. Only two dollars ninety-nine. Only two dollars ninety-nine. Almost bad, though. Another crazy shootout. We're gonna take a lot of hits. If we make our way into that gas chamber, we can make this a shooting gallery. But for now, we gotta fight on two fronts. To hell! Oh, shot the wrong smiley. There we go. It looks like these guys have a new gun. The light handgun uses 9mm rounds. Has a much larger clip than our revolver, too. You think we should run away? But Mr. Starkweather say fuck mistake. Mm, that rhyming smiley we just overheard is the first person to acknowledge the director's name, Mr. Starkweather. Looks like he had to get rather personal with these guys to get any compliance out of them. Oh, we got a note here. Uh, die, 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 and die. Interesting. More painkillers. I fully expect you to take all the damage we just took. Hmm. Interesting that this one is not written in blood. Make our careful ascent onward. There's a good boy. Dog legs! Wait. And we can see that our new gun is quite a vast improvement. A little bit less damage, but a much higher fire rate. And a larger clip. that guy go? Oh, right behind me. The lower damage is actually rather convenient when it's being wielded by enemies. Because we take a lot of fire anyway. This will bring us down slower than a revolver would have. Ooh, lucky that guy behind the fence was facing the other way. Didn't know about his friend behind me, though. Yep, if these guys had revolvers, I'd be dead right now. Where is the chorizo salad? We can hear the buzzing and screaming that we set in action right at the very beginning of the level. It's because we're merely a floor above the room we started in. Starkweather is making the most out of every bit of floor space he has. I was looking for more painkillers, but all I found was another wire. Ah, 
Spotted again. Find you. Gonna <laughs> uh, despite Cackley's insistence, when a guy comes at us with a knife, when we got a gun, he doesn't stand a chance. I'm surprised he had a mere melee weapon. Perhaps that means gun time is over? That'd be nice. There's one guy up here. I don't know what the cunning hands will think. Oh well. He doesn't have much backup. We don't have any shadow. We might be able to do a risky maneuver to get the better of him. At the last second, turn him away from us. Then go for the throat. Could I get everybody's attention? Our guest of honor is going to entertain us. <laughs> that sort of tactic will rarely afford you a gruesome kill. But what any execution will do. Since we're veering away from guns, figure I'll pick up a cleaver. Oh, and hey, if you remember all the way back to the opening cutscene, Solaria might be familiar. This is the outside of the tower we climbed earlier, and I believe the director told us to kill the guard here and take him to the guard room, but I don't want to drag a whole heavy body that whole way. Everything's going okay, thank God. Even the caterers seem to have their heads screwed on. Hmm, that gives me an idea. There we go. That should knock about eight pounds off of that. Now we already got a mix and match head going on. It almost lines up. Rather unfortunate that Cash complied with that last request. But all in all, rather interesting introduction to a much better gang than the Innocents. The gameplay is slowly clawing its way back from where the graveyard shift brought it. And with almost exactly the same number of gunshot kills as executions, I'd say it's a fair balance of gunplay to traditional stealth gameplay. Rather like it a lot, and hopefully the smileys will continue to deliver as we see more of them. Before we move on though, let's take a look back at that tramp we carted around a few scenes ago. According to the Scarecrow's bio, our new gang, the Smileys, were once under his influence before his fall from grace. It's hard to imagine anyone having any sort of control over these violent and deranged individuals, but that's exactly the feat Kenneth Jesperson pulled off. That's a trans real name, by the way, Kenneth Jesperson, and it's a clear reference to real-life serial killer Keith Hunter Jesperson. The real Jesperson was a Canadian truck driver who, while traveling across the United States as part of his job, would pick up prostitutes and other transient women, strangle them, and discard their bodies, leaving behind no ties to his victims. His spree lasted from 1990 to 1995, when he killed his girlfriend and turned himself in before the authorities could inevitably tie him to the crime. In total, Jesperson had eight confirmed victims, though he claims to have as high as 160, with suspected involvement in many still unsolved cases. Naming the tramp after Jesperson and giving him ties to the Smileys is actually a clever allusion to the real-life Jesperson's nickname, the Happy Face Killer, so called for signing his letters to the media and police with a smiley face, much like the ones our new gang adorns themselves with. Q 
Keith Jesperson is now serving three consecutive life terms in the Oregon State Penitentiary, but the current location of the tramp is unknown. <laughs>